we are given a differential equation, we are told to to confirm or to check if the differential equation is actually an exact differential equation. And then if it is exact, we are told to solve the differential equation. Now, how do we check if it is actually an exact differential equation? To do that, I'm going to first rewrite this whole differential equation in standard form. And that simply means writing it as x minus y cubed plus y squared sine x. The x, I simply rewrote this as this, then bring this to the other side. So we have negative 3xy squared plus 2y cosine of x dy equals 0. So this is our differential equation. Now for this thing, for this expression here to or for this whole equation here to be an exact equation, it simply means that the left hand side is an exact differential. So we want to check if the left hand side is an exact differential. Now to check if the left hand side is an exact differential, what we are going to do is I'm going to make a quick definition here. So this implies that as you mean you have m of x y the x plus n of x y the y to be equal to zero. Now for this to be an exact equation, it must actually satisfy a certain condition and the criterion is that the derivative of m with respect to y must equal the derivative of n, the partial derivative anyway, this time around, with respect, this is not 2, this is the partial derivative anyway, with respect to x, with respect to x, so then you're confused, this is partial derivative. So this is what we want to check. So we want to check this. Now to check that, our m, comparing this and this, so this is going to be our m, while this is representing our n. So I'm writing that now, so my m is x minus y cubed plus y squared sine x and my n is, is negative now, so you should not neglect the negative sign. So that's negative 3x y squared minus 2y cosine of x. So this is the n. So now let's find the derivative of m, the partial derivative with respect to y. So the partial derivative simply means you take all the x as constants. x is a constant. So this goes off to 0. So if we differentiate this, you have negative 3y squared. Then this, you have plus 2y sine of x and then the partial derivative of n respect to x you should have um, so this is a constant it's going to be negative 3y squared respect to x so it's going to be plus cosine of x is negative sine of x so plus 2y sine of x so what you'd observe is this and this expression they are equal so it simply implies that what we have here is an exact equation and for this to be an exact equation what it actually means or by definition is that the left hand side is an exact differential it simply implies that there is a function f such that when you take the derivative of that function there is an f such that when you find the not the derivative now the differential of the function you should get this whole thing here. That is, it should be equal to x minus y cubed plus y squared sine x. dx it should be equal to the left hand side that we have there. So minus 3x y squared plus 2y cosine cosine of x dy. That's what it means for it to be an exact, this exact, the exact differential of a function. 
and then normally by definition the, dif the differential of a function is is del f del x the x this is just by definition plus del f del y the y now if we're going to compare these two together so we have this and this and then we have this and this so this one is just going to imply that del f dx del f dx equals what we have here that is x minus y cube plus y squared sine x and del f dy equals negative 3x y squared minus 2y cosine of x. That's what it means. Now, you're trying to solve this differential equation. It simply means we're trying to solve for f. We want to find f. Now, how do you find f? Let me, let me, let me label these two equations here. I'm going to call this equation 1. I'm going to call this equation 2. So, let's start with equation 1. So, we're writing my equation 1. I'm going to use a different, um, different color here. So for equation 1, what we have is del f delta x equals x minus, I'm writing the same thing we have here for equation 1, x minus y cubed plus y squared sine of x. So this is this. So now to find f, we, we integrate both sides with respect to x. So we have f equals the integral of x minus y cube plus y squared sine x dx. So f is a function of x and y, so we are integrating respect to x. So this implies that all y's are treated as constant. So integrating this, you have f equals when you integrate x, you have x squared. All over 2 then y will give you just y cube x since it's a constant then sine x should give you negative as negative it's gonna be y squared cosine of x then plus a constant so our constants is gonna be a function of y since all y's are treated as constants so this is for f now for this for what we got here for f for it to be valid or to make sense it must tally with what we have here what we have here that is to say when we find a partial derivative with respect to y we should have the same thing that is here so taking a partial derivative with respect to y what you have is this goes to zero so this becomes minus 3x y squared so with respect to y here minus 2y cosine of x then plus g prime of y so let's start checking so we have 3x minus 3xy squared here we also have minus 3xy squared there now if we check again we have minus 2y cosine of x here we have minus 2y cosine of x here and then the last one which is g prime of y. We have g prime of y here, but we have zero here. So this one implies that for for these two equations here to make sense, then g prime of y must be zero. So when you differentiate something and it gives you zero, it simply implies that that thing should be a constant, or that term must be a constant, which I'm going to call I'm going to call c. So since I've been able to find now I've been able to find my g of y to be c, so this implies that the solution of the differential equation is actually f of x y equals c. That is to say, our solution is x squared all over two minus y q x then minus y squared cosine of x equals the arbitrary constant and that is the general solution of of the differential equation that we had here